All right, everybody sees me growing a load of greens in not only these tower gardens, but just anything I grow in. And they're always asking if we can grow tomatoes and peppers. We're gonna talk about that today. Hey, we want to thank Taylor Canvases for sending us that awesome sign and we're going to talk about the plants in just a second so you can get your name on it you can get things changed around little quotes indoor outdoor different rooms of the house all kinds of different styles sizes so Keely was looking to dress up the space out here but just to get a canvas that size would cost us thirty to hundred dollars on its own without anything and then take Keely's time painting it so saved us a lot of time looks awesome but it's so we want to thank tailored canvases for that go check out the link down below and now we're going to talk about the buckets now a lot of people when they see what I grow I grow a lot of greens the first thing they ask is can I grow tomatoes peppers cucumbers you know all kinds of stuff like that and I want you guys to succeed. Uh, greens are the easiest thing to grow. And the way you're going to succeed is to, to do something, have fun with it, and do it over and over. Now, peppers, tomatoes are a little more difficult, but it is possible. So I haven't done it in these bucket systems yet, the tower garden. We're going to go ahead and plant some out. I've got a couple of different tomato varieties. I think I got one determinate and one indeterminate. And we got a couple of peppers. I'm gonna put a couple in here and a couple in the ground. But uh, we have a jalapeno and a sweet banana pepper just because we eat those all the time and we love them in our salads and everything. So we like having a bunch of those growing at any time. So we are gonna do this in the tower garden without the aerator. You know, maybe next go round, maybe in the fall or whatever, we'll stick a little air bubbler in there. But like we said, we wanna do this as easy as possible and as, uh, cheap as possible so that you know more and more people have access to it and then we can work our way up from there right so we're always starting at the bottom starting at the basics of one two threes ABC so this is just gonna be totally off-grid cracky kind of style we're just gonna fill that up with nutrient solution and put our plants in there now this five gallon bucket we're gonna start out with just one plant in each one um, the peppers I might put two but I know that a tomato, once it gets big enough, I've grown them in a five gallon bucket before. That one plant, if I put more than that into one of these, I'm ending out, up out here refilling it all the time and I might as well plant it in the ground if I'm gonna do that. So if you guys are trying this at home, let me know. Uh, send me pictures, I love to see pictures and we'll all test things out together and see how it goes. If you're new, get your system put together. We did the one with the firehouse buckets ten dollars for a tower a little bit of nutrients you can check out my amazon store get the nutrients there and start with greens have fun like i said once you do that and you can do it over and over then try this other stuff all right sun's coming up time to get to work you guys live to inspire keep on growing be the change catch you next time you can get it personal you can get it personalized personalized you can get it personalized you can get your name on it.